I know. I mean, it's just, it really, what, what do we do? Okay, what do we do with the ABC? I'd shut it down. I'd make it a, you have to pay to get it. We'll see how many people love the ABC when they have to pay out of their own pocket. Yeah, not a single conservative, you make the point, not a single conservative presenter or producer on any ABC current affairs show. And you say, and I quote Since you. I've been here, eh? 18 years. Yeah, 18 for years, years that's right. For one. years, yeah, under the Liberal government. And you said if the Libs ever had a worse, this is where I agree with you, a worse cohort of MPs, I don't know when it was. I mean, there's Simon Birmingham in an election you're trying to win, and he was the spokesperson for the government. He belonged on the other side. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, you know, there's a coterie of good ones, you know, Hasty, Angus Taylor. We can all name a few. I, I, you know, the, the Nationals have a couple of great ones, but uh, really, it's a set. And the problem seems to be that the young liberals are blocking the pre-selection of good candidates. How did John Pesuto not support um, John Roscom? John Roscom from the I, IPA would have been a yeah. great yeah. Great MP yeah. in the state parliament in Victoria. Yeah. And John Pasuto supports a 22 year old. I know. Well, I think he's lost three times. He's lost three times. I mean, you've got that bloke in Victoria, Pasuto, for goodness sake. Yeah, he's hopeless. What? Absolutely. They've got to get now, rid look, of him. D David Christofulli in Queensland, you're up there. Why did he throw yeah. in the towel and sign up to uh, Labor's treaty with Aboriginal nations? God, how many nations do they say there are? 115 or whatever? A three-year well, truth-telling I mean, inquiry. I, I What's all that about? Big, well, it's created a big ruckus up here. I don't know what happened at the LNP conference. But, you know, he's got these advisors, and they're all focused on tactics instead of strategy. And they don't have any core beliefs. And so they just think it's easier to do that. And, you know, I, my understanding is that Christopher Foley is also against Peter Dutton's call to move to nuclear. I mean, get rid of Chris. And here's the worst thing, Alan. Christopher Foley is probably the best liberal leader at the state level. Yeah, that's and correct. he's bad. Correct. He's really yeah, bad. Correct. But, but I mean, probably, don't, haven't, I mean these well people, better than haven't these people got a map of the world? Haven't these people got a map of the world or are they completely oblivious to what's happening in Europe? Over there, conservatives who fight the culture wars are winning. I mean, they're, they're winning, you're big. winning and winning, they're winning big. big. I mean, Georgia Maloney, she's looking for a fight, isn't she? She's the most popular politician she's domestically. She's got, a bit, she's got a bit soft on the illegal immigration boats, yep. but, uh, but she's pretty good. No, no, no biological just, men in women's sports or in their loos in Italy. You, know, you, you and I love sports, Alan. I, I played university basketball in, in North America and, and, and almost went to an Olympics for curling. It's just crazy. If you don't think that men are bigger, faster and stronger than women, you don't know what you're talking about. The, the women's American soccer team, which is the best team in the world, they lost to a under 15 boys team from Dallas, five to two. I mean, if you put men into women's sports, they win everything. That's it.